Bienvenidos a Córdoba. Hey guys, it's day 53 of Around the World for Free, and we are here in Córdoba, Argentina. Okay, so I said goodbye to Juan this morning. He dropped me off at the airport. A great time, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna miss you. And keep on going, girl. Yeah? And I flew here to Córdoba to meet Guillermo. Hola, Guillermo. How's it going? Great. So to fill you guys in on the last day in Buenos Aires, Juan hooked me up with a friend of his, Miriam, who took me on a bike tour around the city. <laughs> Woo! Bike it! This is probably the best way to see Buenos Aires. Yes, I think so. It's a really nice way to, to be part of the city. This is Microcentro. It's like the business area of Buenos Aires. This is Wall Street of Buenos Aires right now. It's tough to ride this bike around. There's just people all over the place. I feel like I'm going to crash somewhere. And here you are really in the, in the center, of the historical center of the city. This used to be the main, the main square of Buenos Aires. When was this building over here, this older? Looking this one is the Ministry of Culture, then you have the Council of Buenos Aires, and on the left the City Hall. Yeah, we got everything in one we place. We have everything, and here the National Bank, which uh, used to be the first opera house, and the Pink House, the Casa Rosada. And the Casa Rosada who lives in the Casa Rosada? Nobody is living in the Casa Rosada, but... But uh, this is the main government building, right? Exactly. It was probably... One of the most wild bike rides I've ever had in my life. But it was a really amazing experience to, to feel the energy of the city and be riding along with it. It was very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so Argentina is known for tango, and I am so excited to see these people actually doing it and living this dance. And I was so lucky because Juan knows a secret spot in the park where people dance tango in the evenings. It's like an open park here in the middle of Buenos Aires where people come here just to dance. It is very important in the tango when the, the man is a good leader. The woman just simplify all the things, you know. They just, she just needs to move a little bit and the man is going to take her to a good dance. So I got super lucky and found this older man, Carlos, who was a tango aficionado. I mean, this guy's probably been dancing tango since he was born. Did you remind me? Did you like I it? I love it, yeah. I love it. He took pity on me, I suppose, and took me down outside the pavilion, broke down the tango into some certain different steps for me so I could get the basics. Eh, hey, perfecto. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You go? Thank you so much. We were just I just got a full-on dance lesson. It's awesome. I love this place. Uh, for someone that's never seen, seen it, it's probably a sexy dance uh, and a smooth dance. Probably that's that's, that's what, what I got from it, from watching those people. It was a very sexy, smooth, very romantic, very passionate, yeah. embracing that's dance. That's it. That's that's time. A little hidden treasure of Argentina. That's awesome. Thank you very much. So I've made it to Córdoba. Guillermo has some exciting things in store for us. And also the AT&T poll is up for this week. I am a vegetarian, so this is going to be a heavier poll for me. And we have another live chat coming up this Friday, September 2nd. So stay tuned for that. Last week was so much fun having all of you guys in it. So I'm really excited to get all of your questions and talk to you again coming up this Friday. All right, so that's it for now. Keep writing in at cbs.com slash world. I look forward to getting all of your messages, writing back to you, seeing where you guys want to send me next. And I will check in with you guys somewhere else from Cordoba. Probably. Probably.